Okay, I guess you guys started in 1988 when I came from Japan, uh, and uh, the main aim is to spread to more people uh, to understand about Aikido, because uh, to now I still find that it's uh, not many people know about Aikido. All right, so today it's almost 30 years. I have already from one dojo, we have 56 dojo now and two full-time uh, uh, training venue. All right, I have uh, at the moment 53 instructors, 12 are full-time. All right, I got 100 over assistants who are helping up to run all the classes. So one day, in fact, seven, seven or eight dojos are running at the same time. Uh, besides Ayu uh, Shunika in Singapore, we have a further dojo in Malaysia, Indonesia, and China. So to date, we have about uh, more than 30 over dojos uh, overseas. And uh, we are still expanding. We still need a lot of uh, people from outside to bring instructors over there to, to guide them to expand Aikido to more people. Well, I was attracted to Aikido because of the, the beauty of the movement, the practicality, the culture. All right, so it's not more than a martial art. All right, it's not just purely martial art. All right, it's uh, really uh, change a person all right, to, to be more positive. Uh, understanding about human. I first met, uh, met uh, John T. Benewell was in Australia during the uh, Akikai Australia anniversary and seminar during the summer camp. So when we are uh, guest instructors uh, for Akikai Australia and uh, we found that we click very well, we exchange a lot, especially after the class, we have uh, drinks and that, and a lot of things that we share common interests. Uh. So from there, we I think become uh, good friends and uh, until this year, that he invited me over for the uh, ninth uh, Shugano summer camp. So I'm very happy about that. Well, I've been in Homo Dojo uh, from 1981, and uh, that was my first time actually. And uh, to be a wish that she was there. And the training, uh, which is a very good experience for me, and it's hard because uh, when I first started in Singapore, it was a very slow process. Uh, the progress is extremely uh, slow because Hong Shiang sent uh, one Jihan once a year. So that's why I, I make a point after eight years of training at Kido, I make a point to go to Hong Dojo and uh, I can see a lot of uh, various Shihan um, uh, technique or waza which is uh, a lot of varieties and it's very interesting in that sense. When I'm Hong Dojo, uh, the many instructor that uh, really made me, you know, respect and uh, the look upon is uh, Kishimaru uh, Ushiba, all right? Because uh, he's very gentle, uh, very nice person and very humble. Uh, the, the fruity of his uh, movements. So uh, he's the one, he's a, he's a role model which I can, I can find that it is very interesting, all right? Because of his uh, status. And uh, I have uh, trained uh, with uh, Kishim uh, Osawa, uh, Osawa Sensei, the senior Osawa Sensei, which is very soft and gentle too, all right, and that is very kind. And of course, uh, there are a lot of uh, instructors, and the next one who, who really uh, impressed me is uh, Arikawa Sensei, all right. He's hard, but uh, yet outside dojo is so friendly, all right, and it's very kind. And Aikido is so different. It's very practical, and yet the people that we, the, the instructors that train us are, are so kind, you know, and so different. And yet it's so effective, and that's why it really draw me into, uh, to, to pursue more into Aikido. Yeah, since I came back from Japan, you know, I make a, a, a vast change in Aikido because in Hombu there's so uh, many instructors, there are different uh, ways of uh, approach, but the principle is the same, the flow. All right. So when I come back to Singapore, I keep telling myself Singapore is still a very small country, which uh, not many people know about Aikido. So it, it could be very hard work. I know it will be a long time, but people understand how really Aikido are like. So uh, that's why I'm trying very hard until this moment also. Yeah, I uh, besides Aikido, I do a uh, volunteer police for 18 years. So I taught in the uh, uh, Iron Combat, called Iron Combat. So it's a cooperation of uh, Karate and Aikido. So, I, uh, so they have gone through uh, training for three months, you know, in terms of this before they put to fail. So from there on, I have also gone through the uh, uh, Krukas Dojo and uh, for 10 years. So 
according to the uh, Singapore Police Force, it's more, much more practical using Aikido, you know, rather than to uh, kick and punch. It's more of an uh, art that immobilizes immobilize people for attacker, how to bring them down, rather than kick and punch them. So once uh, we started in the uh, police force and then the army also followed up. So we have also trained the army for 10 years. So both the place, the police force and the uh, Singapore army, I, I do 10 years each contract with them. So to, till today, they are more like uh, independent, running on their own, uh, uh, uncombined with Aikido.